Hello everyone, um, I've just realised that um, it's 100th video time. Um, yeah, basically that's it's really crept up on me. Um, I hadn't realised I was kind of like on the 100 mark. I knew I was round there, but I didn't realise that this was the 100th video. So I thought um, I'd do something um, just a bit different, to be honest, for the for for my 100th episode. Um, I mean, this video is brought today, viewed today by um, Dark Left. Um, so I'll be having a, a few sips of that whilst I'm doing this. Um, it is Saturday night after all, and it seems uh, only right. So, um, I'm going to show you my um, SNK Neo Geo. Um, I had one of these for about two years now. It was always the console that I wanted, um, but yeah, from from kind of seeing it all those years ago, I knew it was really, really kind of quite expensive, um, and the games were too. But um, luckily, as um, yeah, as, as the consoles got older, a lot of the prices have dropped. Um, a lot of the kind of like the really expensive. Uh, AES games, um, advanced entertainment system games, which is basically the home console, um, are, are, are still very, really, really expensive. But you can pick up some pretty bloody good um, games, which are basically they are the arcade versions, um, cheap. Um, the most I've ever paid for a, for a game is thirty five quid, to be honest, and I, I don't mind paying that at all. Um, yeah, my my console is the Japanese console um, and I got it for about 120 quid and uh, luckily the seller sent me it through uh, basically didn't say it was a it was a console basically said it was a gift so uh, cost me 120 quid boxed uh, Neo Geo um, now I'm kind of seeing that that seemed like a really good deal because the price of the console seems to be rising again so um, there we go there's the actual arcade stick itself. Deceptively light. They look absolutely huge, but they are actually quite light. And um, yeah, that that bugger will out will last me. To be honest, it's just <laughs> really really tough. Um, quite indestructible, to be honest. And there's my Neo Geo console. Um, serial number on mine is one six one one seven zero. I say um, it was worth waiting um, 20 years to own to be honest so um, yeah looks pretty good on the LCD TV downstairs as well um, graphically 2D sprite wise there's, there's just, it's just amazes me I mean looking at the games that came at the uh, the end of the console's life and um, just to see how amazing they looked. Absolutely huge, huge, huge cartridges, but they looked amazing. Um, so, I'll go through my games. I've not really got that many, to be honest, and my Neo Geo actually setting it up is a bit of a kind of like, it's a bit of a treat for me, to be honest, because um, I keep it up here in the games room, and I don't really uh, kind of play in it huge amounts. Um, so the game, first game I'm going to show you is a game that um, this is the most expensive game I've paid I've ever you know I've, I've, I've paid for I've bought um, on the Neo Geo, um, and it's King of Fights '95. Now as you'll see the the, the cartridge boxes are huge, um, <laughs> they are absolutely massive, and the cartridges themselves are a pretty impressive sight to behold. The the massive, um, but the artwork. I mean, it's pretty bloody impressive. Some of the artwork in here. It's proper kind of, um, yeah, proper kind of manga artwork in there. This is maybe a good example. Um, but yeah, I mean, most of the Neo Geo games are like that. There's, there's a lot of effort going into the artwork. The, the, the manual might be black and white, but. Um, it's a small price to play for, kind of, <laughs> for the arcade game in your home, to be honest. Um, so that's going to fight its 95. I've, I've entered a gameplay video of that um, 
a while ago. Blue, pretty bloody tough. Um, okay. Right, the next two games are new. I bought them new old stock, basically. So, um, yeah, they were they were new games, but yeah, obviously they we've been kind of yeah. They were old stock. Um, I mean, they even have seals on them, um, which is <laughs> which is pretty bloody cool. Um, I mean, here we go. There we go. The old uh, magician lord there. Um, again, again, an another game that I've kind of wanted um, since I saw the console. <laughs> basically, uh, love the game. There we go. Um, and the yeah, app cost me 15 quid, brand new. <laughs> what can I say? Fifteen quid for arcade perfection. Um, this is another one, uh, new old stock. This is the only British, the English version game that I've got actually. Um, again, there's the seal. Um, Alpha Mission Two. Uh, sh yeah, it's a sh it's a shoot 'em up. Um, not not amazing, but not particularly bad either. Um, yeah, I, I, I quite I, I quite enjoy it. It's very it is very playable, but um, yeah, it's um, it's not going to rewrite the uh, the the shooter rule book. <laughs> Let's say that. But the artwork's quite nice on that as well. Um, yeah, and uh, now he's again the um, another game from from launch as well that I, I, I really kind of quite fancied. Finally got it, and it and it's great. Um, Nam, 1975. Now it's got some kind of some marker pen on the front. It's not actually on the artwork itself, so I could actually slip it out and put it in a new case. But um, it's a cool kind of like a almost Operation Wolf type game, um, but with kind of vastly superior graphics. Um, Ten pounds. <laughs> Now this game here is by far the cheapest game that I've got. Um, this one was $7.99. Um, I wondered why it was $7.99. Uh, basically it's, it's, it's pretty mint. It uh, has to be said. Um, there we go. And it's um, Riding Hero. Uh, it's a game a bit like... Um, it's. Um, what's the game? Super Hang On. It's like Super Hang On, but the SNK version of it. And it's balls, to be honest. I really am not keen on it. Um, it's quite interestingly, it's got the uh, communication jack on the top. So basically, you can kind of, um, I believe it's to connect two um, two Neo Geos together. So you can kind of play, um, you know, four player racing and all and that. I think it's that. I, I, I seem to remember it's yeah, it's to connect to two consoles together so I can play a game for our player. Um, but yeah, it's it's seven ninety nine because it's pretty crap to be honest. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it is. I, I'll just check in. It's got a communication mode thing on there, and it is a, to connect two consoles together so you can play four player. Um, I, I don't think there are many games that actually use that feature. Um, but by looking at this, I think it looks like it's a rental version. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um, 7 dollars and it's shit. <laughs>